All right, we're here at uh, Go to Math. This is actually part two of uh, we're talking about uh, finding the derivative by the definition, and this is the definition here. G prime of t is the derivative given that the limit exists. All right. Now this is what we we were talking about in part one. However, we're going to add this part now to it, the limit, which is going to be actually pretty easy. So let's go over to the board. So this was part of part one. We got through uh, deriving up um, that first part of that uh, derivative, which is nothing more comes from here. This is the uh, slope, slope of a line given two points. And this right here is the same thing. This is the slope of this uh, secant line here that passes through two points that uh, on the curve here. Some two points I just kind of arbitrarily uh, picked. Now we want to uh, get to the limit on this. Where does the limit come in? Well this thing right here, the delta x, is, uh, is just a number and what that number is of course is, is the distance between uh, this x and this x here. In other words if this were 5, right, and so we would have 5 and then we said delta x and uh, let's see 5, 10, 15 I don't know delta x is 10 we'll say in this particular one here so it looks like this point right here would be 15 so as you can see delta x just adds some number 2x and moves it down the line but what we're interested in is what happens when we take this point and start moving this point? Now we're going to fix this point. Keep that point fixed. Don't move it. And then we find a new secant line. Right? We find the slope of a new secant line. I tried to pass that point, but it didn't quite happen. But uh, all right, we'll say the point's there anyway. So right, what's the slope of this secant line? And then, so in other words, our delta x is a little smaller. Okay, a little smaller. And then, right, and so now we're trying to find the slope of this secant line, a line that passes through our fixed point and now through this point here. And so the question is, so here's our new, our, our delta x is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And of course the question is, what happens when delta x approaches zero? In other words, it gets really, really, really small. What happens is our secant line, as delta x approaches zero, our secant, our secant line excuse me, becomes our tangent line and you know what we'll just do that in some kind of green color and I'm gonna guess what this tangent line kinda of looks like it's gonna be something like that right Ooh, yeah, well, something like that right there right it's tangent to the curve that doesn't quite look tangent but anyway as delta x approaches zero so to find what that actually is what we'll wanna do is, is we'll wanna use the limit Right, the limit. So we just simply say as delta x approaches zero, and then of course we have our f of x plus delta x minus our f of x. And it's all over our delta x. So as you can see, what happens when delta x approaches zero? Well, this thing, given that the limit exists, this thing actually represents the derivative, okay, or the slope of the tangent line. If we were to evaluate it at a point, at a number here, this gives us the slope of this line right here. All right, the slope of this line, okay. So more generally, we may not be finding the actual slope of this line, but we might be finding well if we were given some f of x and we wanted to find so we'll say f of x is this and we wanted to find the derivative okay so we can do that by using uh, by using this right here alright by using this and of course we work uh, quite a few examples that uh, you will want to definitely visit and here this is actually one of them uh, right here which is going to be coming from uh, this section here be coming from this section section 3 here I don't know if you can see that right so you want to click on this button here to get this problem to come up and see how we actually find the derivative